So first things first, let's slide up here, but be careful because the archer can see you if he's in the right position. Get the vase off the table. Brings our total to 2,094. Now I have been wondering what I was going to do about this guy because last I saw him he was stuck on the balcony facing this direction. <sighs> Something there. Yep. That's that remains his position. I can't believe the damn coffee brew is broken. So fancy gadgets around here. I can't get a simple mug of coffee. I wanna get behind him if I can. Mm -hmm. I wonder if creeping will let me avoid the alert. Let's find out. Hmm. Hold it. No, creeping is not the answer. Let me try this instead. I don't like the looks of that. Nope, that's not the answer either. <coughs> well, Supreme is busted anyway, and this is a glitch, so. Hmm. Seeing things. I'll take the first alert and get the pickpocket. Imagining things now. <clears throat> Who's making all that noise? So we just need to get that pickpocket. It's the 16th of 17. Can't believe the damn coffee oh. is broken. This As always, drop the key. I can't get a simple mug of coffee. Now that actually is on his patrol route, the way it's scripted. Now we need to rush back in. Can't the guy nap around here? Guess it's nothing now. And like I said, I took those first alerts because we were dealing with a glitch. That key is very easy to pickpocket along his route if he's working properly. Anyway, that's 16 out of 17 pickpockets. Now things get fun. The last pickpocket are his arrows. Oh, he first alerted. I wasn't paying attention. Good thing I didn't save. Okay, I need to wait for him to leave. So I'm going to wait till I hear his footsteps. Now I'm going to move. Alrighty, so what I want to do is get across to that balcony, that's step one. I find it's quite possible with a couple of strategically placed rope arrows, but you can't draw the string all the way back or else they will hear you release the ropes. Okay, that didn't work quite right. The first, okay. Let me start by landing the one on the edge there. Now that might be enough. Let's see if I can make that jump. I don't think I'll be able to, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't quite think Garrett can make that, so let's stick one in the wall close by there and jump to it instead. Come on, G. You can do it. Okay, that one's a little too far out because the robot can see us, so let's land one closer to the wall and try for it. I'm not saving because I have to make sure that this one lands right. That one I might not quite be able to reach. What if I put it farther out? Maybe that'll work. I did this once in my practice run, but 
This is still pretty hairy. Alright. That's a good first step. I'll take being on this rope. And then I'll take being on this rope too. Excellent. Right, now I'm gonna leave that one there. Now that I've made it over here, I'm gonna do a real save. And the first thing I wanna do is slide down to ground level right behind the robot. Make sure the archer's away as I do that. And immediately creep over here, get into these shadows. So, if you creep forward around the chair as far as you can while still being I shadowed. For my arms with them, I make the world less rich in foolishness. Builder, behold the work that I do for thee. Now, one last thing to do before he gets over here, make sure you go to the options and turn off auto equip. Otherwise, He'll alert when we get out our bow from grabbing his broadheads. As tense as it is to be standing in the guard room, this is actually a very safe spot. Unless you make a noise, nothing will see you here. So the archer randomly moves back and forth between four endpoints in this room. We're just waiting for him to come over to us so we can lean out and grab that last pickpocket. I give thanks for my eyes. They can seek out evil and keep me from harm's way. I give thanks to Karis, for it is by his will alone that I see. Okay, good. He's on his way. Who's over there? Okay. Got a little too excited. What's that? Okay, maybe I have to wait until his back is to me, and then make my lean. Hail to the master builder. I am his emissary here on Earth. Forged in his image by Karis, I will make the path clear for him. Nobody better be tough. No, he's seeing me. <sighs> there we go, got it. Okay. That's the last pickpocket, 17 out of 17. I like to turn auto-equip back on just because, mostly because I like to see my loot count as I pick things up. Now we need to take the rope up, but uh, I had a lot of trouble getting on the rope without making a noise during my practice run, so let's see how things go. I eventually did it, but I basically just had an arduous process of trial and error to make it happen. What ultimately ended up working, if I remember right, was being crouched. Okay, I have to wait for the archer to leave. He can see me through the robot. That's good to know. Okay. Then when you see Garrett bumping the rope like that, <laughs> hit jump, and he should attach without making any noise. Be sure to retrieve the rope on the way up. 
Let me just double check right quick to make sure I have all the picks, like I think I do. Yep, that's all of them. All the secrets too. Good. There's still there is still a little bit of loot left to find, but that's it. So, real save. Oh, I, I had just made a real save. That's okay. Use the red key to open this door. Wait until the room is clear of iron beasts. Maybe move a little fast. Well, no, let's just wait for the second one. That seems like the better course of action. Now, knowing that both of them are out there, let's get into the dome from up here by sliding down from the top floor. So the dome has four pieces of loot in it. It's got wooden edges to a point right up to here. Then you have to start creeping, but it's pretty well shadowed. So if you're going counterclockwise like me, this first dresser has a gold goblet and a purple goblet on it. Total 2134. Base on that one, total 22.34. And one more vase over here. Total 22.59. So now you actually want to head back clockwise. Survey my inventory here, yes. All is as I expect. The robots do have much more acute senses than humans, so always be wary of them. Thought. So when the place is empty of robots, be wary that there are also three human patrollers to worry about. The archer out there, the pivoting swordsman, and the patrolling archer in these hallways. Just quick as you can, get into this hallway. Grab the last piece of loot. This vase right outside the vault brings our total to 2284. Open this door with the red key. You have to deactivate that watcher as well, the one that's directly facing the vault. Now it sounds like the patrolling archer's headed this way, so I'm gonna wait for him to pass by. Wherever he's going. There he is. <coughs> now it's time to head into the vault. There are two watchers in the vault. You want to break right at the start. It's actually pretty tough to do. The initial entrance is the hardest part. The one up there can't see me right now. Now I know I'm a master thief. Waltzing right into a bank vault. Time to find the recording. Okay, that's the hardest move, and I got it on my first try. So now, just stay on this side, and you don't have to worry about the one on the top floor. You can use the pillars to get by the one on the bottom floor. So as he turns away from us, 
make the run to the next one. And freeze right here. Wait for him to turn away. Run to the next one. Squat down here, you're in a good shadow. When he turns away again, get close enough to call the elevator. I'd wait for it to turn away again. So I can get out of crush range. Now ride the elevator up. Now we want to break right here too. Use the pillars so we can not worry about the one on the first floor until we absolutely have to. So as it swings past us that way, run to the next pillar. I messed up there. I got worried about the one on the ground level, but it can't see us yet. Even leaning put me in visual range, so... Get up the ladder as you have the opportunity. <sighs> Hop off to the right. You should remember from the Hall of Records that we need box 11. Let's get it open with the key we've spent so much effort in eavesdropping to get and grab our recording. Now all that's left is to get out, but because we are Supreme Ghosts, we've got a little bit more work to do. First, it's much easier just to drop down and get to the elevator directly than to try to make the run again, but you kind of just have to guess. I guessed badly. Remember, watchers are deaf, so you don't have to worry about making noise. Same thing again, just make a drop. Oh, a little more carefully than that, ideally. Okay, maybe we do have to take the elevator. Not a big deal. Not nearly as hard as taking the ladder. We're still going as supreme as possible, so send the elevator back up. Do so when the watchers turn away. So we don't trip that first alert. Use the pillars to get out, same as we did to get in. And as before, the actual final exit is probably the hardest move. I just need to make sure no one heard that clang. I think we're good. So with the vault closed, we'll turn that watcher back on. Lock this door behind us. Now, if he's coming down here, you want to hide right here to avoid him, but he's not, which is good. Now, we just need to get across this hall, which is actually easier said than done, because the robots in the dome can see us, so can both of these guys, and that patrolling archer wanders through here, too. 
So we have to be alert to all of them. Okay, let's try it. Excellent. Alright, next, whoop, next we're gonna wait out the archer, right here. Alright, now what's my best way back up to the third floor? Probably the same way I got in there initially, huh? Yeah, I think so, because that room with the malfunctioning bots and the two cameras is just impossible. So, then of course I have to ask what's the best way back to the central staircase. And that, I think, is without question taking advantage of our red key. So, be careful of the watcher. Turned away when I arrive, that's always the best. We can still open the door onto the archer, so we have to be careful of that. That turned out well. Let's cross this room. Head through here again. Once you get into this room, you're pretty safe because no patrols come in here. So this time, let's loop around here and head through this door, which takes us back to the central staircase. So, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to just shoot over to the other corner and use my rope arrow to get back to the third floor like I did before. Good, 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 good. So from here, let's wait for him to head back down. Place our rope. Hop upstairs. Head into this room, again, hoping we don't run into anyone. That was close to perfect timing. Uh, he heard the door close. Dang it. Okay, that done. We need to. How can I help you? You. Oh no, we don't. Nearest star, I have found dangerous conditions. A malfunction. So, we're up here to. We're coming up here to turn the lobby cameras back on. So, with that watcher not present. I wonder if it just, you know, chooses some variables when you start the game and changes up where the watchers and guards are. I didn't think Thief 2 was that advanced, but guess I'm wrong. So as before, we want to wait till he heads off to the south and then get across this hall. And his is the key, the silver key that we're holding on to. We've replaced all the others already. So, let's try this.
Perfect. Now I need to make sure he didn't hear me. Sounds like we're good. Come up, you! I heard that! What? Don't think you can hide for long! Where do you suppose he is? Oh, there he is. How did he get stuck over there? Well, that guard is stuck. So, I guess I have not seen that before, I'll tell you that. So we have to be quiet through the Hall of Statues. That's not a big deal. But, uh, depending on exactly how he's stuck, he could turn into a real problem. We might not make it back to reactivate the lobby cameras. If he's facing into the alcove like he was when I saw him just then, we should be fine. Halt! It's someone. Again, I'm willing to take first alerts if they're because of <laughs> bugs and stuck patrollers like this. I don't really have another choice. But, looks like if I keep it to that side, I can get by him without one. Who knows how we got stuck? We've just, we've been in this mission a long time, so funny things will start happening. They always do in the Dark Engine. So let's head to the security office. Much simpler knowing that we don't have a guard to deal with. Just potentially a little robot, depending on where it is. There he is. So remember, Silver Key opens the security office. Reactivate the lobby cameras. Head right back out these doors. We've relocked all the doors behind us, so as long as I keep doing that, we've got the leaving everything as it was element of Supreme Ghost intact. We've just had... Well, we had the first alert from the guy stuck on the balcony, but I don't... Well, no, that's a bust. The rules pretty unambiguously say that busts from glitches are still busts, but... We had to bust Supreme anyway because we had to turn off the lobby watchers, all the watchers on that circuit, and we had to shut off the watcher facing the vault. I made it through there without a first alert last time. What gives? Benny. Again, I have not seen this before, but like I said, I'll I'll take a first alert from him if I can't find a easy way to avoid it. Last time, holding to this side was enough, but... <clears throat> Thought I saw something! Interesting bit of trivia, that 
drunk Benny Guard voice. That's the same voice that does Garrett. Both of them are Steven Russell. Talented voice actor. Okay, good. Well, we got through there without another first alert, but... So at this juncture in the mission, and it should be our final tally, we've got four Supreme Busts. We had to deactivate the two sets of Watchers, and we had two first alerts from the guard stuck on the balcony. I'm pissed off. It always pisses me off when glitches cause busts, but the rules pretty unambiguously state that you have to take the bust even if it is a glitch. So, let's just see if we're lucky. No. <laughs> but, if we get where we can see the slow one and wait till it turns. Okay, he's on the he's on the wrong side, so we have to wait till we see him head south. <laughs> We're really almost done now, folks. <clears throat> oh nope. He is down south, but I don't think I can... Maybe if I can jump onto the carpet. I wonder if that'll work. No. I didn't want to have to wait for a whole patrol cycle, but I think I might have to. Let me take this opportunity, since I'm thinking about it, just to show you something. Let's get, let's get killed. Uh, I hate creepy noises. <laughs> or I'll turn. Ah! Oh, I thought he was going. To go <laughs> I just want to show you the. Uh... So you see here. 17 out of 18 pickpockets, right? You remember my mad dash looking for the extra one? Because I told you that there was another one in my practice one? I just run, I just want to show you that that's true, so. This is from my practice run. Right before I exited the bank altogether. I just need to find someone to kill me. This is my practice run. So this was my practice run. And look here. 18 out of 19. Isn't that f crazy? Anyway, I just wanted to make sure you understood that I wasn't insane for spending all that time running around looking for another pickpocket because it was there in my practice run. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The things I do just to seem sane when I'm sitting here trying my best to Supreme Ghost one of the hardest thief missions ever written. There's nothing sane about that. It really is fun, though. You know, there's... What's his name? There's one commenter, I think... 87 Julius, if you're watching, you know, you you get a shout out even though you kind of sort of bash me. Just wonders whether it's fun to have to save and load so much in an effort to satisfy what he called an arbitrary checklist. The answer is yes, this is a lot of fun, and the sense of satisfaction if you do pull it off is incredible. So if you've never tried ghosting or supreme ghosting, I highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Okay. Okay, I went too soon, but... 
If you watch the slow watcher, when it makes its second pivot away, you're usually good to go then, as long as you actually wait long enough. Good. Pause here. Make sure the patroller didn't hear us. He didn't. That's ca really the last hard part. Making the last crossing out of that hall. So... This is the last time we'll use the silver key. Lock that door behind us. Drop it on his patrol route. Get back out here. I'm in trouble. That archer has drifted forward. I do not know. See, the, the phenomenon of fidgeting can make problems as well as solve them. Go ahead and get that dropped. Just hold it left and ho hope for the best. Okay, good. And when his back is turned, I'm going to go ahead and slide down to the second floor. Well, I'm going to wait for that guy, too. I might have to wait for him to head back down. Yeah, he'll see me if I go now. We gotta get out of his way. Now we should be able to slide down to the second floor. Now we wanna move over here. Okay, I'm wondering what the best way to get here is. Because he's going to see me if I just rush. Oh, maybe he won't. So we're back in here now. I think I was wrong. I think patrollers do occasionally come in here, but... Get our red key ready to go. Slip out here, hope we don't run into anyone. This is the end game, folks. So now we want to head up here. Also a red key door. Kind of have to hope we don't run into the archer. Go ahead and just try and make this jump again. Ooh, silent. Perfect. Well, there are... <laughs> then after all that, a first alert. Right there, literally at the very end. But no matter. First thing you need to do... He can't hear you, even though he can see you, so... Let him get out. Lock block this door. I know that sounds like cock block, but don't worry about it. Just open, but locked. Do 
do the same thing with the office doors. Never quick save in front of the window. Open and locked. Now we need to sneak across here, put the red key back on the desk. Gonna go over and listen, but I don't think he first alerted. I think he was far enough away that he couldn't see us. Okay. That's all good. So, get out this door without hitting the pressure plates. The office doors are now closed and locked. We just need to get down to this balcony and the mission will end. Same thing, closed and locked, and we're done. Lots of fun. Big, open, non-linear, lots of stuff to find, very challenging. Just a great mission, and we perfect thiefed it. We came very close to supreming, but we didn't. Four busts, which I'll recatalog for you in a moment. But there you saw the objective screen. They're all ticked off, of course. Total time, 1 hour, 56 minutes, 36 seconds, found 2284 loot out of 2284, picked 17 out of 18 pockets, that's just the Omnipresent Thief 2 bug, there were only 17, picked 11 locks, no backstabs or knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and nobody killed, no iron beasts disabled or destroyed, 2 out of 2 secrets found, campaign so far, 7 hours, 33 minutes, 45 seconds, 10,701 loot, 8 damage dealt, the 8 knockouts in running interference and received, 0. Perfect thiefed, no problem, no second alerts, all ghosted. Almost supreme ghosted at all, with 4 busts, 2 first alerts from a guard who was glitched and stuck on a balcony, but that didn't matter, we have to call those busts. That was in the second floor on the west side of the Great Hall, the guy who was stuck on the railing. Two first alerts from him, and we had to deactivate two watchers, the ones in the lobby and the ones facing the vault. So that's four total Supreme busts, but we came very, very close. So there it is. Awesome. I will, that'll, this will probably be at least four videos, I'm guessing, with all the footage I recorded. Maybe less, hopefully less, but... I'll see you next time for blackmail whenever I finally get these bad boys uploaded. Bye bye. Well, there's the save. Bye bye.